brought out my citrus strip stripping gel. It comes in a spray. It also comes in a bottle and I apply it with a chip brush and it's really, really easy to do. For the spray, you just give it a really, really good shake. The spray works really well if you have little nooks and crannies and grooves or uh, detailed feet or detailed ornaments on a piece because it can really get into those crevices. Citrus strip stripping gel paint which strips off the paint and varnish is safe enough to use indoors but I still recommend having good ventilation and safety first make sure that you're wearing the appropriate clothing make sure you wear gloves a mask is a good idea protective eyewear because it is still a stripper even though it smells like oranges it smells quite smells quite nice actually but make sure you open up the windows get good ventilation just as you would with any other regular stripper for flat surfaces I just take the citrus strip and pour some out and then I use my chip brush to uh, paint it on to the piece as I'm doing here on the top of this dresser you can apply it as thick as you like but it, it but it doesn't need to be that thick because then you're wasting product and you don't want to apply it too thinly because if it's not a nice wet surface it's not going to eat away at that varnish or the paint and here's a great quick tip to keep it wet so it's actually eating away at the top coat or the paint i use a plastic wrap or any sort of saran wrap will work and once you put the stripper on you can then take your plastic wrap and cover it up then you can go and do some laundry as i did you can go do some chores you can rest assured that this stripper will actually stay activated nice and moist and eat away at whatever you're trying to get rid of I came back down about an hour, an hour and a half later, I guess it was, and I started removing the plastic wrap. Then using a plastic putty knife, I started taking off the remaining finish. And look how easy it just scrapes right off. To clean off the remaining of the stripper, the residue of the stripper off the wood, I use mineral spirits. And I just pour a little bit on and using a soft cloth, I just rub away the excess. Here's another quick tip when you're using a stripper to remove a top coat or a paint. Let's say that it's dried up on you and for whatever reason it's dried up and it has not removed your whatever you're trying to remove 100%. So you're left with this sort of dry, tacky, varnish finish that doesn't want to budge. Rather than try sanding it off, which believe me is a very bad idea because your sandpaper is just going to end up being tacky and all bulged up with product and it's not going to do good for your piece whatsoever. So avoid using sandpaper. But to reactivate this sticky mess, use a little more stripper. So pour some stripper on, it's gonna reactivate the stripper that has dried up, and therefore you can go in with your putty knife and just uh, scrape it all off again. Another quick tip when using strippers, did you know that you can reuse the stripper that you've already used? You don't have to actually throw down new product to reactivate it. So here you see I'm using some old gunky stripper that I've already stripped off. It's, it's already discolored, but it still works. The stripper is still going to eat away at the varnish or at the paint, whatever you're trying to take off. And you can use old stripper as well. And what I mean by old stripper is not a stripper that's been hanging around for days on end. I do mean what you just lifted off the piece. You can actually put back on the piece and it will still work. I hope that makes sense.